about to kill us. I swear. I swear. I'm gonna flip y'all around. Watch this shit. terrified on the Red Anthony Pier, you know, because he's afraid of water and <laughs> afraid of water. high winds <laughs> and, and dying at watery death. This is my Red Anthony Pier. He terrifies me. I'm terrified. And I've been riding with him for 25 years and he acts like this car uh, I don't know if you could hear that, but that is one of the scariest sounds on earth. Look at all the ice. Tommy just pointed it out to me because I was too terrified. He was watching the road, I was looking at the Yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what time of the year you come up here, though, it's so beautiful. We love hitting these little small mountain towns. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Watch this. Yeah, see, he just goes straight. <laughs> he don't go with the curve, he just goes straight. Oh God, he's speeding up. Oh Lord. Oh, I gotta pee. Pretty day for a drive. Riding, you don't die. Pro tip though, when riding, bitch, at, for a maniac, um, keep yourself loose. Don't tense up, or else when you get ready. Oh, look, traffic jam. When you, <laughs> it's not a traffic jam. When you get ready to uh, get out of the car, you're gonna be so stiff if you spent this entire time clenching as your body <laughs> wants you to do so don't do that just be loose be like water let it flow <laughs> oh, it's a long way down there how are you i'm good how are y'all i'm all right just how just two of us That's the easiest fishing you can do right there. It is. It's the best fishing. Thank you so much. <laughs> if only I got to keep it all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Just be sure to wear a mask in all of our buildings, including the shuttle today. And if y'all need to use the restroom, the only restrooms open are the porta parties in the middle of the parking lot. All right. Thanks. Well, hello. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back. Travels Tommy Moore. We're at uh, Brasstown Bald. Yes. Which is in the mountains of uh, North Georgia. It is. <laughs> you know what? Get, get that. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, it is the largest elevator, or the highest. highest. Highest elevation in Georgia. 4,700 and something feet. And something feet. We don't and know. something feet. We're on the bottom. Uh, we're at the top, but we're on the bottom. <laughs> we hadn't went up to the the observation deck yet and uh all you can see here is just mount laurel and yeah you know, all that stuff so yeah they got this i don't know 30 foot observation deck that we're going to go yep. up and you can see all the way around the mountain you're at the very top of it it's really cool it costs ten dollars to get in and you get a free shuttle with that to come up to the top which i mean you can hike it if you want you can you can Clearly. But, but I paid $10. No. I'm riding. So. 
No, it back. <laughs> I think the hottest it gets up here is what? 84 degrees. 84 degrees. So that it stays the ambient. highest uh, recorded temperature. And then yeah. the lowest was some negative 27 or something. So it's, yep. that's a big difference. It is a big difference. But 84 is the uh, the hottest that's ever been recorded here. So we're going to go up here and take a look. Yep. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. Be nice to see a lot of that, wouldn't it? Yep, sure would. <laughs> a what? Did you my knee pop? I heard so. Yeah, that was my knee. Now, are these actual? These are actual. I found. I mean, you are in the way. Yeah, I know that, but some of them, that one we went to that one time, they were reproduction. Yeah. What was that one we went that had all them? I can't remember. That's what I was trying to think of. She looks plum miserable. So, spin the bin and draw a lottery ticket. This would be how you got your land. There's a lot of cool. Um, Teach your land back to the squirrels. Cool, um, interactive. Hey, I bet. Let's show a little movie in there. That's cool. I love trains. Why did you bring back over here? I didn't know if you were filming a piece of paper. I did. So this is a replica. Well, of course it's a replica. <laughs> I saw it. Still cool though, huh? Mm -hmm. Short leaf pies. Do what? It's what? It is, oh my goodness. Made out of wood. Well, that's cool. Wood plastic. 
I reckon it was that hard. <laughs> Probably not. Oh Lord, I thought I thought that was a real person. <laughs> well, about to drop the camera. <laughs> Creepy D, <laughs> Offer Woody. First floor stranger. Oh my gosh. I've been years to restore the forest here in these mountains. I restock the woods with deer, turkey, oh. and bears, and the streams with fish. And I help stop forest fires. So we're not falling for that again. <laughs> Hey, look, Tommy, seriously, no joke. This looks exactly like that cat that comes around our house. I'm so retarded. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Recycling trash to make carpet. <laughs> Those early experiences gave me deep appreciation for the forest and the animals that live there. The first Earth Day in 1970, and the growing concern over the quality of our environment influenced my decision to choose forestry as a career. Public land management is very different today from the world. Thank you. Uh -huh. I bet that gets old. I'm sure it does. <laughs> Look at these. Amazing. So then the highest over here is Double Spring Knob. It's 4,276 feet. Wow. Sure is pretty up here. Sure is cold too. Before we see the moose. So we've been there. Yeah, we've been to Clegman's Dome. I think we we've that. No, we did not. So that Should. would be that would be straight back. Yeah, that place is pretty impressive. Probably not going to be able to capture it, but you can see this is west facing where the sun's already starting to set. You can see the horizon. Beautiful. And everybody always says, I've probably been up here 20 times, and they always say on a clear day, you can see Atlanta. Bullshit. <laughs> I ain't never seen. It's, it's always <clears throat> either hazy or cloudy or rainy. And windy. Oh, that wind. That wind is cold. Look at our beautiful flag. So this one in front of us, looks like they just took this picture. I mean, look yep. at the tree, and you can still see the trees. Yep. But this I one guess. don't get a name, but the little <laughs> one over here gets a name. Hey, there's Yona. <laughs> I've been there. I've can... partied like a rock star. On Yona back in the day. Check out Yona. Well, it's like a wave, wave. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I partied at the very, very top of that peak. It's pretty cool. I just can't get over how pretty it is. And there's the parking lot. So you park down there. Like park, the, yeah, way down there. It's, 10, it's $5 a person, and you get the shuttle up here to the top, or you can take the trail, which is pretty easy. I've done it twice. Um, if I didn't have to pee as bad as I do, I'd probably walk back down, but I've got to really pee. There's that. This is the fire tower. Look, y'all. There's... Ice. Ice. Oh, Curie. Yep. <laughs> good times, good times. 3300, way out of faded in the mist. Oh, my hair. There's a wind. Y'all, it is so freaking cold out here. I can't feel my fingers. I can't feel my nose. It's freezing.
it did uh, it snowed up here or that was the remnants of the freezing rain looks like snow it does look like snow we saw some kids back in the woods playing you know it's really pretty oh the huddle house <laughs> hey tommy remember that time oh you're really close <laughs> remember that time we embarrassed our daughter yeah it was as we marched down the road, waving flags, singing. Yep. And then went to Huddle House and ordered everything on the menu. Pretty much. And she walked on the opposite side of the street from <laughs> us. It's good times. Yep. Paul's on the river, the margarita deck. <laughs> we bypassed food until we shut it down and then ended up at the Huddle House at two o'clock in the morning. Yep. Our daughter was almost fully grown at that point, so it's not like we, no. you know. And it was her idea to do the karaoke, not ours. Well, hello. It's day two. Day two. Uh, we cut it short a little bit yesterday. We was running out of time, so we drove back up today, and we're in downtown Blairsville. We've got the courthouse, the old courthouse behind us. I think it's a museum now. Yeah, that's what it says. Museum. Uh, Pretty cool. Oh, there's something weird on my phone. <laughs> that was sorry. Yeah, it's fine. But anyway, um, yesterday he got off early. So we did the uh, Brass Town Bald. Brass Town Bald. So today's Sunday. We're in Blairsville. So we'll see if we can find anything that's open. like open. Yeah, the first place I seen was a, uh, looks like they have a local place that they, they have a grist mill and they grind their own grits grits and different things but they're closed because yeah. <laughs> i was really thinking about getting some grits from a uh, real grist mill so yeah. we love grits but um there's other little things there's, there's more shops all the way around so we're just we're just gonna go see what's open of course we're gonna find something to eat that'll probably be our first thing yeah go ahead and get that out of the way because that's where we got messed up yesterday was out in the middle of nowhere Nowhere then, to eat. Nowhere to go to the bathroom. All the bathroom facilities are closed because of the COVID. So all they have was porta johns and a lot of people there. So yeah, there's a lot of people there, and I don't think that porta johns are conducive to um, sanitary environment. Yeah, I don't understand. It I mean, it's, it's a smaller place. Look, I, with I mean, more people. I mean, I, I I grew up using. I mean, I've used outhouses and stuff, but you know. <clears throat> but whatever. But yeah, we've never taken the time. We've drove through Blairsville a bunch of times, but we've never taken the time to stop because we was always going somewhere else. So we thought about it, and Blairsville is a nice little mountain town. Uh, I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure there's stuff to do, and we're going to find something. Yeah, it's so. beautiful here. It really is. So we're going, we're going to take a look. I'm see, cold. See what? It's, <laughs> it's 50 degrees. It ain't that bad. I'm cold. But uh, we're going, we're going to walk around, take a look, see what we can find. Maybe show you some store frontage. Yeah. Uh, there's a pizza place over here. I see. I think it's probably open, but I don't feel like pizza. No. So we're gonna take a look, see, we'll, see what we can come across. Yeah. So we'll, we'll let we'll you know. We'll be back. That thermometer oh, is a liar. <laughs> it's a liar. This one, then, has got to be right. It's a liar. Y'all, yeah, I hate this mask bullshit. I really do. But I'm gonna say right now, I can kind of see a merit in the fact that it does keep your face warm. I'm freezing. So as we uh, kind of expected. Everything's closed. Everything's closed. Um, some Most of the shops were, uh, they're closed uh, Saturday. They just, um, they do uh, appointment, appointment only. only right now. But um, With COVID. Yeah. yeah. But some of the other shops that we were looking at, they're completely closed on Sundays. Yeah. Um, as, is, it, it's normal in small towns like this, especially up through this area, you know. I mean, everybody's at church. Everybody's or, doing church or doing their family things. Yeah. So but, and that's okay, but it's also kind of nice to have it to yourself. And for us anyway, because, you know, y'all know, well, we're not big shoppers anyway. But I no. get to look and I get to see, you know, maybe I want to come back and we, we have dead end. we have reached the dead end <laughs> so we're gonna go back this way get on the other side <laughs>
but yeah most most of everything's closed um there's a restaurant up here the hole in the wall um it's been there since the 30s we might give that a shot yeah See what they got. Like, There's a pop. I can see a Popeyes through the through the woods over there. So I mean, I love Popeyes, but <laughs> obviously, yeah, we, we're not doing fast food today. So. so we're gonna walk back up to the square, which we bought. It's called Merchant's Walk, where all the little shops are here. You see, true form too. I gotta pee. So <laughs> so we need to find somewhere quickly. Yeah, but we're gonna walk back up to the square, and then there's a. No, shop another little like, street, yeah, a little coffee shop that uh, fresh ground coffee is what they say. So we'll check that out and then find us something to eat. Hey y'all, <laughs> it's got Playa del Carmen on here. I'm trying to convince Tommy maybe next year <laughs> to do the uh, all inclusive resort. So you got Cancun, Cosmo, Mexico City, Al. Alpaca. 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 store that people were running her so funny too she's over here singing and dancing with it it's freaking awesome this these people are so talented too all right well, well we, we didn't get to go to the hole in a while because it closed at two o'clock yeah. lori had to take a bathroom break so it was after two o'clock before we made it back over here so now we're at cook's country kitchen um don't know a damn thing about it. We'll see. Hopefully it's delicious. I'm gonna grab some business cards and put them on the table. I forgot yes. to do that last yes. couple of times. So I'm gonna grab them out of the car. We're, we're gonna, gonna eat and then we're gonna go back to that shop we were at. Hopefully they don't close before we get there. Yeah. It's that way. Oh, whatever. That way. <laughs> Hopefully so. they don't close before we make it back. So uh, we'll see. It's always a toss of the dice. So let's go eat. Fortune was with us because apparently when we walked in there, they were closing. So they seated us and fed us anyway, and the food was really good. Tommy got a Philly steak and cheese with onion rings, and I got the French dip cheesesteak. It was really good. I'm particular, really particular about my Philly cheesesteak and my onion rings. Both were done perfect. You know, when you bite into an onion ring, you don't want it to slide out, so it didn't. So when you get a, a good Philly, what you're looking for is the meat, right? So, <clears throat> the, um, the actual meat 
that they they cooked was a ribeye that they had shaved down. It was delicious. So the the onion rings and the Philly cheesesteak was perfect. Price point? Ha! Huh. You couldn't beat it. I think um, like twenty two bucks, something like that. Yeah, it was really good. So when we left the uh, restaurant and went back to the shop, I got lucky again because she was actually closing. But she let me come in and buy some stuff and um, got to spend some time talking to her. She's just a wonderful lady. And it turns out she does food blogs. So I will um, put her information in the description. But the shop was so... It's so friendly. Yeah, they were so welcoming. And you walked in there, it was like, everybody said hello. You yeah, know. it was like... But it wasn't the pushy type of... It was like we of, belonged in there. yeah. Yeah, she was just, she was so great. I mean, she really was. She was so great. Yeah, for, for nothing else to be open, at least that place was open with nice, friendly people. <laughs> yeah, we went to another one. They weren't very, uh... No, they didn't even talk to us till we got ready to leave. After we didn't buy anything, they said, bye. Yeah, so. you know. But, um, you know, I think I've explained enough that I do not really care for shopping. But stores like this... There was so much I wanted to buy. Yeah, they, they, they make you want... To be in there, so it was pretty cool. Look, y'all, it's Santa Claus on a motorcycle. <laughs> oh God, Tommy, you killing me, Smalls? Uh, Thirty mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, that wraps up another episode. Thanks for coming along with us. <laughs> Don't sound so excited. I was just saying. That was a great little weekend. That it was really was. Trip. We had a lot of fun. We really did. I got off work Saturday and we took off, went to Brasstown Ball. And then the next day, decided to continue on up to a little town we've been through a hundred times. Yeah. And never stopped because we was always going somewhere else. Um, that's our route to uh, go up to the mountains of North Carolina. So we decided... Let's just go to Blairsville. There was a lot of video that did not make it because you can already see this. This thing, we had a lot of footage. And there was so much more that I would have loved to put in there. But I, I'm going to do something different this time, though, if you made it this far. <laughs> Usually I put, like, all the pictures on the video that we took. But I think what I'm going to do is just upload them to Facebook because it would take... Yeah, we, we this, did It'd be a 45-minute video Yeah, if I did that. You know, the... The pictures are good for certain things, and then there's other pictures that just don't, it's not going <clears> to, <throat> yeah, excuse me, make the cut, but they're still good pictures. But uh, if we just add a bunch of pictures, we're going to end up with an hour's worth of content, and you're going to be sitting there looking at pictures for about five seconds. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> no need to put all the pictures five in Five seconds? Really? Like, mean like 20 minutes? Well, you're going to be like, look at it. I don't want to look oh, at this yeah. no more. I'm going to move on. I gotcha. I understand. And they're not going to like, share, subscribe. And hit and that hit, notification hit bell. Hit that notification bell if you do that. <laughs> well, with that fresh in your mind, <laughs> don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get updated when we... Drop up new content. Yes. <laughs> Until next time. Bye-bye. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.